Have your electric bills lately made you just hit the roof? And then while you're up here, you thought, huh, should I start making my own electricity up here? Uh, it is a thought. I mean, that way you wouldn't have to worry about the fragile electric grid here in Texas as much. And you wouldn't have to stay on one of those electric plans that have shot through the roof. I recently told you how we just did the same search for electricity rates that we did just four months ago, and the lowest priced plan was 44% more expensive. Well, if you're looking to get away from that and you're turning to the sun for help, there is a substantial upfront cost. One site estimates that it costs more than $13,000 to outfit a medium-sized home in Texas with solar panels, but that gets knocked down to less than $10,000 once you add in a federal tax credit for going solar. Now, if you're really considering this, you should know that that credit is going to be reduced after the end of this year, so clock's ticking on that. Now, there are sites that will let you punch in your address and get quotes for solar installation and it'll estimate for each one of those quotes how long it would take your system to essentially pay for itself. So this is one of those things that you may be installed depending on how long you're planning to stay in that home. Now you want enough sunlight though and it matters uh, which way the panels are oriented. So is your roof a good fit for solar? I don't know. Google it. And I'm not being dismissive there. Google has actually looked at your house for this. Orange means more sunlight. Purple means you might be too shady there. Google will let you enter your usual electric bill and tell you how much of a system you can uh, put up there and how much that's likely to cost and how much you might save in the long run. I have a link to that cool Google tool and much more info on going solar all posted in today's article at Jason Wheeler TV where I try my best to enlighten you in ways to be right on the money.